Hey guys, Michael with uh, Sport Optics and Rifle Division of Really Right Stuff. Today we're gonna make a video talking about our RRS 1.5 inch dovetail standard, uh, the difference between Arca Swiss type and what the Arca Swiss is, um, go over a no-go go gauge that we have available, um, and just some background information for you guys to, uh, to learn about our standard. Uh, to push to machinists, put to other manufacturers, um, to make sure that if they are trying to make stuff to our spec, to work with the most popular clamps and uh, ball heads in this division, um, they can do it appropriately. So we don't have, and they don't have any uh, customer returns or questions, uh, just trying to take care of our customers. So uh, real quick, uh, a lot of customers don't understand the difference between our RRS Dovetail and Arca Swiss. So Arca Swiss, uh, was a photography company a while back ago that popularized the plates called Arca Swiss. So Arca Swiss, all it is, it's a one and a half inch wide piece of metal with a dovetail cut on either side. Uh, the problem with that is, you know, all these photography companies worked with each other and no one would share specifications. So when Really Right started 30 years ago, um, the owner at that time, Brian Geyer, he wanted to have a plate that fit across all plates, all clamps, all cameras. Um, but you know, a lot of the companies didn't really want to work with them, share their specs and everything like that. So he made something called the RS 1.5 inch dovetail standard. So it's on our website. It's open source. Any machinist, any manufacturer is able to use it. They don't have to call it early right stuff or RRS if they don't want to, uh, they can give me a call and ask how we'd like to do it. Um, but it'd be good for the customer to know that this is compatible with the RRS gear. So it's not going to fall out, create a safety hazard with your rifle moving, slipping if you're not paying attention and possibly uh, having a neg negligent discharge. Um, so that go no go gauge, uh, the machinist made it. Um, it is precision ground, has a go no go side on it. It's for uh, checking post finish. Uh, you can put it onto a rail, uh, put it on the go side. If it slides fairly, fairly easy or extremely easy, put it over to the go side. If it still goes extremely easy, that means it is extremely small. Okay. Then you have one of ours. This is off of the actually the National AT. Uh, you put it on the go. As soon as you get it on the go, it can start, but you have to push it pretty hard to get it to keep going smoothly throughout the whole thing. It has to be able to go on. It has to be able to go the full length but it can take some pressure uh, to make sure it's good. Uh, you don't want a lot of different movement on there. Um, with rails that are out of spec, uh, I know I talked about it a little bit, but just for you to see yourself, you put something on that's a little bit thin, it's just gonna come right out. So that's just with me pushing it. That's not with me putting a tripod over my shoulder, walking around with a spotting scope. Um, it's not firing, so just imagine uh, that torque or that force impulses on there is just going to slide right out. So we want to make sure that you guys are taken care of, um, customers number one. Um, so if you have any questions, reach out to me. My email is on the website, so is my phone number. Um, please comment, share this as much as possible, put it anywhere on social media platforms. Most importantly, push it over to your machinists and manufacturers to let them know but that we have that uh, go no go gauge available for purchase at cost. Don't want to make any money off of this thing. We just want other people to be able to use it uh, so we can take care of you guys, the customers. Thanks so much.